Hi. Hello, buddy. Hello, Hi. Bo. Yeah. Uh, happy Lunar New Year's to everyone. This gorgeous, uh, beautiful f yellow flower here are symbolic of the Lunar New Year, uh, inclu including the peach, the plum, uh, in, in those varieties, in those family food, flowers. Um, when, when this flower blooms, uh, it's signal that spring has arrived. Or oh, when spring's, you know, when the onset of spring, um, this flowers will come out almost, almost on cue every single year. Um, so, in terms of Lunar New Year, based on the lunar cycle, it's actually a uh, new spring. That's usually what the Chinese call it, the new spring. So again, you can see uh, all this beautiful yellow flowers. So this is one of the my original plant here. I had in a big, big container. Uh, I prune it every year. Uh, once you prune them, the new shoot will comes out, and then the flowers will bloom completely from you know one stem all the way. 20, 15 to 20 flowers, like this one here. Now, it's nice to, to have them in a little pot like that. Uh, this is, I think, a five gallon container. Uh, and then when you hang them up high, the, the stem, the flowers will actually, you know, stream down like this. It's pretty nice. Uh, and, and this all bush, they're not tree, uh, they're not vine, they're kind of bushy. Uh, but the stem, the flower stems are very flexible, so so it's kind of like a string, a string of flowers coming down. It's really beautiful. Sometimes it can grow up to even six to ten feet. In my other house, I had them about ten feet long. But you can tie them up, uh, or you can prune them like this. I prune them like this, so the the base is much stronger, uh, and, and the plant is a little bit more sturdy. So I can erect them up high like this, and then the of course, I think the flower string will come down this way. Pretty nice. So this three here, one, two, three here, I propagated uh, in a two gallon container. They're quite easy to propagate. All you do is just cut off a cutting, cutting and put them in the soil and they will, they will root pretty easy. Okay, here's another example. Look at this one. See that? This one is not dead, it's actually alive, but you can see here. Now when you propagate this, uh, as soon as days have roots, usually they'll flowers within the following year. So it's very easy to get them to flowers. Uh, and I don't know exactly the name of this flower, uh, but a very popular in China. Uh, I think it's native of China. People grow this this plant here next to the fish pond, the koi pond. They love the moisture. Uh, they don't mind the root, the, the the roots being very wet, they don't mind that at all. Uh, and normally they'll stay green all year round, uh, but they tend to shed a little bit of, 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 of leaves uh, in the in the cooler climate in the winter. Um, I'm sure they can survive a little bit colder weather because I have this plant here for several years now, and they they do survive. But at least in Southern California weather. Uh, so I don't know about sub-zero degree when it comes to freezing, uh, I'm not sure. But they definitely tend to do very well in, in California and in the mild winter climate. Again, uh, this flower is a signal that spring has arrived. Uh, but of course we can't grow much vegetable yet, uh, at least not the fruit uh, vegetable. But we can definitely grow a lot of green stuff right now. Uh, in, even in in uh, in February in California, uh, it's a little cold for the fruit variety, you know, tomatoes and chili and pepper. It's still a little very cold. Uh, the night temperature is about 50 degrees, so it's still very cold. All right, so that's our video for today. It's very gorgeous, beautiful flowers, and I want to show everybody this flowers. Every season they come out uh, on exact signal when spring has arrived. And thank you for watching.
please uh, continue to subscribe to our video and I'll continue to post more video for you guys. Uh, I know I haven't been making videos lately uh, because there's nothing, you know, nothing to show you guys in the winter. Uh, so basically, this is our first video for 2021. Well, thank you for watching and we hope to see you back again.